What's up, you guys? I am Miss Cutie Style, the leading lady. I am headed to the heart doctor, so I thought I would try to record and um, bring you guys along. I don't know if I should be recording this way or this way, but whatever. Um, yeah, yesterday I went to the blood doctor uh, because of my anemia. They're trying to see what's causing you know, me to be anemic and also for the so-called blood clots I supposedly had, but remember they weren't so sure about it. Like, I don't know what kind of um, test they gave me, but my primary care doctor, which I go to, I believe I go to her tomorrow, she was wondering how did I just develop blood clots all of a sudden? Like, you know, she had been watching me and stuff. She don't understand. So I don't know if those people are 100% correct with that. Um, but anyway, I am headed to the doctor. Um, I will try to record in there, but of course, you know, that's private. I just usually like to tell you guys what, what, what they said afterwards. Um, but let me... I wanted to do a separate video to shout out some people. Well, not many people, but to shout out um, some people that really checks on a sister. Number one, I want to shout out Dark and Lovely 702. She always check on me, whether it's on Instagram, and she also she has my number. She texts me and she asks me you know how I'm doing ever so often she, and it feels good to know that I'm being thought about especially from someone that you know I don't know personally I know through um, YouTube so that makes me feel good that she's concerned and I really 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 appreciate that because I don't get a lot of that through YouTube I mean people that know me check on me and stuff like that but then there's some you know they uh, probably because some people are on my Facebook page so they kind of know what what's going on with me a lot of people from not a lot of people but some of the people that I've been knowing from YouTube they're on my Facebook so they kind of know what's going on with me I don't think dark and lovely have a Facebook so she calls you know she texts and, and um and asks me how I'm doing and stuff like that and I really appreciate her for doing that um also uh 28 Kwan, I believe is makeup by Kwanza now. She, um, you know, sent me videos, like a spiritual video, and I really, really needed to hear that at the time. I forgot what it was, because it was when I was in a hospital, but I know I listened to it and I was in tears because um, it definitely touched me and it definitely, um, the lady was singing about what I was going through or what I was thinking about or just... It was just to uplift me to not feel so down because I was sick. And it really is. Look, I'm getting emotional right now thinking about it. Um, Quan, if you watch this video, um, put put the, um, if you remember which, which videos you sent me, put it there. Actually, I I went back to my, my Facebook page to try to watch the video and I don't know where it's at. So if you can, if you can send it to me again. Um, yeah, but I appreciate uh, Quan for that as well. And like I said, um, there are some people that um, will hit me up under the video and ask how I'm doing, you know, and are, are concerned and telling me that they're praying and I appreciate it because I don't get that a lot. Um, not to throw shade or not to be, you know, y'all know me, y'all know Miss QT Style, keep it 100. Um, there's people that may get sick or maybe going through death in the family or going through finances or whatever and you see a thousand videos up let us pray for such and such or such and such I didn't get a video like that I mean I didn't expect it but I didn't I didn't get a video like that so I appreciate the people that are is concerned about me and it kind of makes you wonder like what is it because I don't have enough subscribers because I'm not on here per se kissing ass if you will uh friendly bobbing or what i don't get those type of videos but that's okay because i do have my people praying for me i do have friends i do have family and like i said Quan and 
uh, dark and lovely, uh, you know, praying for me and stuff like that. I'm not mad about it, y'all. Don't think that, but I'm just, I noticed that. I'm like, some people can get those type of videos, but now I'm just cutie style. But I, I understand. It's probably because people don't want other people to get mad at them. See, I'm that, see that's, to me, that's fake. I'm, I'm real. If I want to put a video about, about somebody, I don't care who don't like that person or who had beef with that person, I'm going to put it out because I'm cool with that person. Nobody tells me how to um, re, um, react or how to um, do things. But anyway, let me get off of that. I just wanted to throw that out there. I thank all of you who may be praying for me silently or praying for me unknowingly. I appreciate you guys. Um, I guess I will do a diabetic diva diary soon uh, to catch you guys up on what's going on. But I don't want all of my videos to be about, you know, my illness. I got a lot of other stuff, you know, going on positive stuff i want to show you guys with my little grandbaby he not he knows how to count he not count to 10 he knows his um abcs he knows colors and he's only 20 months so i'm going to show you guys that as you can see i'm looking good um so i want to do some um ootd videos which i did one for this outfit but i don't know if it's loading right um want to tell you guys that i've moved I can't say too too much on videos because keep in mind there's people <laughs> and haters that is in real life some petty haters and it's none of their business what I got going on but I did move I have not moved into my own spot yet but that's coming as soon as it's ready um, but yeah I have moved um, yeah so like I said I'm limited on some things I can say because this is a public format um, but all in all, you guys, I'm doing okay, despite, you know, my health and all. I'm doing okay. So, like I said, I'm going to the doctor. I may go ahead and just load this video right here. But, um, yeah, headed to the doctor's office. Now, this is the heart doctor. I took a, um. I don't know what you call that shit. Anyway, they tested my heart and stuff. And the man said my heart looks pretty good. Which, when you say congestive heart failure, I think, or I thought, and a lot of people think that, oh, she got a bad heart, she might catch a heart attack. You know, that's not what congestive heart failure is. Congestive heart failure is when you have fluid build up on your heart. My heart, when I take an um, EKG, is perfect. Perfect. And whatever test they took, at this doctor before it was perfect but right now he want to see how my medicine is doing me so he wanted me to take my medicine before I come which I did my high blood pressure medicine I, I, and I took my other ones too but he wanted to make he wanted to make sure that they're on the right uh, medication as far as high blood pressure um, so that's why I have an 11 o'clock appointment because I got up by 8 and I took the um, the pill and um, so and also I had to do blood work a week before I came here so I did that um, as far as yesterday, you guys, I went to the, uh, it's called the Oncology Institute. That's the blood doctor with the anemia and stuff like that. I got to go back to them in four weeks. I have to go get blood work a week before I go to them. Um, she's thinking about putting me on blood thinners because of the so-called clots. But I was on blood thinners. And it took, see, I, I guess I'm I'm already adding this into a diabetic diva diary. You guys, the last video I did, I think I was in a hospital in July. I've been in a hospital two more times since then. I didn't vlog or I didn't um, say anything because I just hadn't been up to doing videos. But I was in a hospital two more times after that because of being shortness of breath. And then one of those times I, I really did feel like I was catching a heart attack. Felt like something was press, pressing on my chest. Um, and then one of the times, uh, a lot of fluid build up too. So yeah, I've been in the hospital. Shit. Um, we went to Louisiana, um, August 2nd through the 9th. I was in the hospital August 16th through the 19th. Then I was in the hospital August 26th through the 29th. So yeah, I've been in the hospital and dark and lovely called, I mean, text me and asked how I was doing and stuff, um, around that time. But anyway, you guys like this little area here, this Right here, I don't know if you can see it. I go and take, uh, that's where I go take my blood work at. And, um, this is my heart doctor right here. 
and I hope there is a damn parking spot in the inside. That's why. Oh yeah, I got it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So I'm not late. I'm right on time, you guys. So I'll get back with you guys in a little while. Look, oh damn, ten minutes. I guess I better just go ahead and load that video. What else is new? Um, as far as health wise that's it you guys um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and load this video this is just like a little catch up um to what's going on but you'll see more videos like i said i don't want every video to be about my health because i'm still you know i'm still a fashionista i still like makeup and clothes and stuff like that and i still like talking shit so i'm going to do some danger zone videos and i do have a video to talk shit to let some people know because i know they watching my channel they probably keep on oh, clicking and refreshing the computer on my channel to see if I made a video and I hadn't made a video in two months. But in case they're watching, stay tuned because I will be making a video um, letting you guys, answering you guys, you know, because I don't really talk to y'all, but it's some things I need to let you know. Okay, so you guys stay tuned for that. <laughs> All right, you guys, and it's a wrap. Okay, so I am in the room and my pressure was 140 over 90, which is not too bad. This ain't no cell phone use. I'm not using, I'm using a camera. But anyway.